Today in the news, we talk about how the RTX 4080 12 gig is probably the worst buy possible, and someone might have cracked DLSS 3. What's up guys, I'm Snows, and this is your boot sequence. Let's get started with NVIDIA's RTX 4000 series. I just, I can't believe how many times we've covered those cards already. And at the time of release of uh, this video, only one of them will be available for sale, the 4090. Anyways, today, NVIDIA released some extra benchmarks for their RTX 4000 series, and they're proving once again that they priced the 4070 terribly. Yes, I meant to say 4080 12 gig. So three games were benchmarked, a Plague Tale, Requiem, Microsoft Flight Simulator, and F1 2022. Why those three games? Well, because they all support DLSS 3, of course. And what's a better way to pad numbers on a chart? Well, literally padding the numbers on a chart with interpolated frames. Anyways, at first glance, things look great for the RTX 4000 series. Look at those big green bars. Every 4000 series beats the hell out of the entire 3000 series, and by a lot. I mean, the 4080 12 gig is 900 bucks, and the 3090 Ti is currently selling for like 1200. So. The more you buy, the more you save, right, Jensen? The more you buy, the more you save. Well, let's look at those gray bars. Nope, these are not 1% lows or averages. These are the FPS numbers with DLSS off, so pure raster performance. Here in all three games, the 3090 Ti consistently beat the RTX 4080 12 gig. We can also see that the RTX 3080 is around 10 to 20% away too. And if we compare it to the RTX 4080 16 gigabytes, well, the 16 gigabyte version is 25 to 30% faster here. So yeah, Nvidia is once again proving that this GPU is way overpriced. I mean, let's compare it to the 3070 for fun. Sure, the 12 gig 4080 is 40% plus faster than the RTX 3070, but this is a new generation. It shouldn't cost 40% plus more. What's worse is that the one really big feature for gamers on RTX 4000 series, so the DLSS 3, well, it might actually just be software locked by Nvidia. Just Dax over on Reddit was allegedly able to make DLSS 3 work on his RTX 2070. Now he says he was able to bypass that software lock by adding a config file to remove the VRAM overhead in Cyberpunk, something like that. But anyways, here's what he's getting. In Cyberpunk 2077 at 1440p with ray tracing set to ultra and DLSS at quality, he usually gets about 35 to 40 FPS. Turn on DLSS balanced mode and DLSS frame generation on, and he's getting about double that, 80 FPS on an RTX 2070. Now he says that this causes some instability and some frame drops, but the way he describes it is mostly visual artifacts. Since he's already at a pretty low FPS, around 30, the frame generation might not have enough information to create beautiful pictures in between. For example, a tweet from Hardware Unbox showed the F1 2022, where there were big changes between two frames frames and the car looks, you know, smooshed. Now, I'm not saying that I 100% believe just DAX, but Nvidia does have a history of blocking things out of a generation. Plus, Nvidia's own VP of deep learning research said it himself. It's theoretically possible that with additional research and engineering that we could get this technology working on other cards. Now, sure, he said that there wouldn't be much benefit and that this version only works on the 4000 series, that specific version that he released in the drivers, but that's what Nvidia said about ray tracing and RTX voice though they did enable both on older cards after the community cracked their blocks. It also would make sense that it could work on the RTX 2000 and 3000 series because they also have an optical flow accelerator. It's just not as good as the one in the RTX 4000 series. This might be the case of either Nvidia making the call for the user because DLSS 3 on older hardware might not look right or look as good, or it's basically Nvidia locking features to drive sales for the RTX 400 series. It's probably both, but mostly the second one. What are your thoughts on this? Let me know down below. Moving on, but not really, we got the 4090. 
TI this time. Yes, it's back in the news. Nvidia is allegedly putting aside the best AD102 chips for the new flagship model. Here we have some specs from AGF or at XPA GPU over on Twitter. And he says that this variant would have a boost clock of 2.75 gigahertz. That's a little bit higher than the 2.52 found on the regular 4090. It would apparently also boost all the way up to 2.95 gigahertz, typically in uh, gaming scenarios. It has 18,176 CUDA cores, so a lot closer to the complete AD102 chip, and the memory would have transfer speeds of 24 gigabits per second. Now that is pretty impressive. All of that with only a 25 watt increase in TDP. Now that last part might be the one thing that makes me doubt this specific boomer. Only 25 watts for all these changes, it doesn't really make sense. So how much Nvidia? If you release that, how much are you gonna charge me? $2,000, 2,500? Let me know down below. Go ahead, Jensen, go down below in the comment section. Tell me how much. Anyways, guys, that is pretty much it for today's catch up. Hopefully you've enjoyed. Drop a like if you liked it, a comment. If you wanna talk about today's stories, as usual, you can click right here to see the latest video right here to subscribe to the channel. Stay frosty, my dudes, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.